Hi everyone, I'm Wendy and this is Disley, Wesley, and we're going to demonstrate today how to use an injection kit. First of all, I'd just like to say that we are not qualified medical professionals, nurses or doctors. We're doing this as Addison's adrenal insufficiency patients um, who carry injection kits and we'd like to demonstrate how to use these kits using an actovial where the water is with the solid quarter and also using one where you have to mix it yourself. We are going to actually do the injections, but we will be injecting um, saline, which is sodium chloride, not the hydrocortisone. Um, this is the first time that Desi will have done injections, so she's a little bit nervous, but she'll be fine. But um, we're doing this hoping that we can give people out there some confidence in how these work and that it's not as difficult as it seems. Thank you. And um, I'll, uh, this is my little kit that I have, that I carry in my handbag all the time. It contains two solid cortex activiles, one is a spare, two syringes, two needles, um, alcohol wipes. So first of all, I'm going to demonstrate how you push down on the activile. It comes like this with a, um, a little uh, cap on the top and a little rubber stopper. The powder's in the bottom and the saline solution is in the top of the active valve. So you're using this part of the hand, which is nice and firm on a solid surface. You push that over there and push down hard and it dislodges that rubber stopper. And then you just swirl it around until it dissolves. Now, here I have an active valve that, we have, that is empty and we have filled with the saline solution so I can inject myself. Um, a good idea to swap the top of the rubber surface and take the cap off the syringe. Load a little air because that helps to draw up the solution with, um, so you don't get a vacuum. Push it into the top of the active vial. Turn it upside down, push in the air and then the needle should sit at the base of the fluid here, once it dissolves fluid, and you just simply draw down on the syringe and it fills to 2 mil solution. Drawing it all out. There we go. So. Okay. Oops, sorry. At this point, you just push up till the, till the solution sits to the top of the needle and it comes out at the top there. So now I have drawn up the syringe with the, uh, the saline solution. I'm just going to put the little cap back on it to keep it sterile while I just take the little alco wipe and wipe my leg. I'm going to use this part of my thigh muscle just here. So I'll just swap that. Here we go, my first time injecting myself and take the cap of the syringe and just keeping it nice and taut by holding my forefinger and thumb there, I'm just going to inject by so just pushing it straight in. All the way, oh, that wasn't too bad actually. Pull back, just a little bit, there's no blood and now I can push in. So I caught it. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought. I pulled it out and just a little swab and I'm done. Thank you very much. My injection kit and because I live in Hong Kong I have it in English and Chinese and inside it, I just made this from a Tupperware container, um, I have it my needles and my sorry cotter from here as well as um, a letter and also an instructional leaflet. So I would need my sodium quarter and a water, the two elements. So you have the two items and then you have the needle. So you would first break off the top of your water and break off the top of your sodium quarter and then take your needle and your syringe 
you just do a slight twist and a pull like so to get it off and then you just pull back until you have two mil sometimes you might get a little bit of air and you need to go at a slight angle if you can see so you've got the shrink in the water and go to two mil then put that into the center and do remember that you may be a little bit shaky so then remove the shrink and wait for it to dissolve and then um, I'm going to swab the top of that and it's nice and dissolved now you can see there are no pieces floating in it so then remove the cap from the syringe and you can draw up air it does help so I've drawn up two mil of air um, doing that actually it doesn't make a huge difference but it can help with the pressure of pulling down. As Desi said, you need to bring the needle down so that you are actually in a fluid and then because of the air, you can actually see it pulling down. I'm not actually pulling on the plunger. The air that I put in is giving the pressure to fill the syringe automatically. But the last little bit of it, you do need to pull down yourself. So I'll continue. You have to keep pulling the syringe down so that you're in the solution. Otherwise you won't get it all. Once you have it all ready, then you just push it up and you can also flick it for any air bubbles. So now this is one that is filled with sodium chloride, so it doesn't contain hydrocortisone. And Des is going to demonstrate giving an injection to somebody else. So I'm the sick AI patient and I can't inject myself and she's going to inject me, so I'm going to hand it all over to her. Thank you. And you have to be pull the pants down. Okay. <laughs> Good. Good. Right here. How's that there? It's fine. Thank you. Alcohol wipe. Put the cap on. Nice and firm skin. Go back a little bit. Make sure there's no blood. That's all good. Very yeah, good. Solution. Done. Okay, that didn't hurt one little bit. I didn't even feel it. That could have potentially saved my life if I'd been in crisis and we were using real hydrocortisone. And um, so thank you, Des, you did a wonderful job. Mm -hmm. um, just one last point is to dispose of sharks carefully in your home um, in case you have children or anybody else around. And just one more note that we are not nurses or doctors, we're not medical professionals. This is just for information purposes only. And please do refer to any guidelines that you've been given by your doctor or nurse. And most importantly, ensure that your injection kit has everything it needs. And if you have given yourself an injection, refill it as soon as you can.